Hello everybody, welcome back to GRE Manocho. I am your host Rafa and we are still in beautiful Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Until tomorrow, tomorrow I'm fucking off. So today we are gonna talk about the interview with Kevin James. I fucking love Kevin James. I grew up with King of Queens. I love Grown Ups. I love all of his fuck. He's hilarious. He's fucking hilarious. And I like his comedy because it's actually one of the few innocent comedians that don't swear. That don't, and actually in the whole two and a half hours on the interview, he didn't say shit. He didn't say fuck. He, this guy doesn't swear. And him, Jim Gaffigan, there's a couple, but there's not so many. So they didn't speak about it in the conversation. So I'm going to promote it for him. Watch his new stand-up comedy special. Irregardless is fucking hilarious. Hundred, oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. So before we go into the conversation, as usual, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell, tell your friends I am in all of this social media and stay for the quote of the day. I made an exception today. Normally I put a clip on edited, but Joe connects two ideas about one and a half hours in difference between each other. So I made some professional editing in there. You won't even notice because I'm so good, but the timestamps are there. You can check the quotes yourself if you want. So let's get started with the with the conversation. This was a very, very simple conversation. They speak about two things. They speak about stand up history, present, past. They speak about the kind of stage that you should have if you're in a stadium, the kind of stage you should have if you're in a small club and like technicalities, how each of them write tips for writing comedy, everything that has to do with with comedy. And they speak about training training martial arts and training physical whatever cardio doesn't matter so these are the two main topics we also speak about autism since uh, kevin's daughter is on the spectrum so she was struggling really but thank god she's better so if you want to know the the details please check the interview you have to check the interview it's fucking crazy so there is a principle that Joe talks about with the two voices in your head, one being the lazy one when it comes to training, one being the productive one and how they fight each other. Should I go running or should I watch another episode of this TV show? Should I fucking eat chips or should I eat a salad? And this is what the quote of the day is about. So I'm not going to try to explain it to you because I'm just going to fuck it up. Stay and watch it from Joe himself. Very, very nice. Also, I had no idea that Kevin James was a uh, fighter himself blue belt in bjj and also he well in the movie here comes the boom he's a fighter but i didn't know that he was actually a fighter like a practitioner it's it was very impressive and it was also very uh, interesting to know that in the beginning joe and kevin james they were really good friends in stand-up and they knew each other for 30 years i had no idea about this so i love kevin james i love joe rogan so it was very very cool to find that they are actually together and going went through the the whole thing for 30 years and yeah very cool they speak a lot about supplements also so in the training part nutrition some weird unlabeled pills that kevin has <laughs> shady as fuck it's it's hilarious it's fucking cool and of course they finish with joe saying how it's actually easier to stay in shape than it is to get back into shape so it's a two and a half hour motivation speak on staying in shape and all that. Let's say one hour because the other is about stand up, but a lot about training, a lot about stand up. I love both. So it's obviously very biased from me to give this interview four and a half knots. If you like both, you're going to think exactly the same like me. If you don't like neither, then don't listen because it's all about that. Fucking fucking cool. So thank you very much again. And as usual, I have no association with Joe Rogan or the Joe Rogan experience. All the links, timestamps, sources, everything else they spoke about are all in the description. And don't forget to stay for the quote of the day. And I will see you next time. Peace. Mm -hmm. Everybody has the person inside of them that wants to go to sleep. Right. The person inside of them that wants to quit. That guy's winning, by the way. <laughs> that's the guy who's you see before you yeah. right now. And the other guy that's like, no, this is what you need to do. Right. But the problem is with a lot of people, that other guy that's like, no, that's what you need to do. That person's really timid. 
And that person, they, they just, well, maybe it'd be better if we just went for a run. Like, shut the fuck right. up. I'm going to eat chips. Right. And that that timid version of you is what you need to cultivate into being like the boss right that's the boss so i have a boss my boss is that voice yes. i let that vo voice win every time i love it that voice says shut the fuck up and get in the cold water pussy that's... you just gotta give the boss some strength yes yeah and the, the boss right. the boss has to win a bunch of battles and when the boss wins a bunch of battles and he wins them every day then eventually the boss becomes a louder voice and then you get to get it to the point where the the boss gets to tell you what to do and you don't deviate and even though you have all those feelings every time i lift the lid on the cold plunge i'm like let's not do this <laughs> uh, every You're time and, and but the boss is like shut the fuck up the boss gets mad if those voices pop up so like, i'll make you do an extra minute bitch right get the fuck in there i love it but i always write it out if you, you write it yeah because if you write it out you don't give yourself any room for fuckery because you know this is what you have to do it's all written out like that's the boss the boss gets in there and writes it all out before the the ego steps in and they're like, oh, let's go eat. I'm hungry. Once it's there, it's, it's like there. you get a better workout if you have some fruit first. Let's go have some fruit. You get a better, better workout if you eat. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know what? I have a window between three and four thirty. I get a really good workout then. And then right now, I'll just go watch TV. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's everybody. Me. But you just got to have that boss in your brain. Right. It has to be in control. You and and once you get it. Yeah. subdued like that mm -hmm. much it becomes it's not that hard right you the just whole go. thing is momentum the right. whole thing is doing is everybody that has ever had a good day you have a good day where you really get your shit together you start feeling good about yourself mm -hmm. and you go the key is just carry that forward and keep going and don't let yourself fuck off and if you do give yourself a, a day off recognize that just like an alcoholic that starts drinking again this could be a slippery slope well, so if you give yourself that day off be real aware of what you're doing